Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Modeling Information Retriever Classical Vector Model. I have already published the video on Classical Vector Model with theory and exercises. In this video, I am going to cover additional exercises on vector modeling. Now let us start. So this is the taxonomy of Information Retriever Model and I have already published the videos on Boolean and Vector Model. So when we solve the problem on vector modeling, we require to first calculate intra-cluster similarity, inter-cluster similarity and after that we multiply the intra-cluster and inter-cluster to get Wij and Wiq. And once we found Wij and Wiq, we find out the similarity by using the cosine formula. Now let us start with the exercise. Three documents are given and queries extended binary. Four steps we have to follow. First is stemming and stopward removal, intracluster similarity, intracluster similarity and then cosine similarity between the document vector and the query vector. Now here when we observe the problem we can found that there are no stopwords and there is no case of stemming so we are getting as it is data. So, six keywords are extracted. Now, this is document 1, document 2 and document 3 and we write the query also because we require to do normalized form of the query as well as the document also. Now, this count is nothing but how many times this particular keyword present in document. So, we just write down the count and after that we have to multiply this value by maximum frequency. So, maximum frequency is 1, here maximum is 1 maximum is 1 and maximum is 1. Now here we are getting this frequency ij is nothing but this term. Maximum frequency ij means this term and when we multiply all this value by 1 we are getting the f of ij and similarly it will work for the f of iq. Now in the formula we require to add some base value to the query because it is not possible for the user to enter all types of keywords and sometimes user may not aware of that keywords so we are not making other terms at zero but we are adding adding a small weight so whatever we calculate in the previous slide we are adding the 0.5 this is nothing but the intra cluster similarity now we require to found, find inter cluster similarity for this we are using the idfi which is log of 1 plus n divided by ni original formula is log n divided by ni but we are adding 1 plus only for the smoothing operation. Total number of documents are 3 and ni is nothing but this count. This is global count that is binary is present in how many documents? Present here, present here. So count is 2. So we are not counting the frequency but we are counting the presence of that particular keyword in document. So in this way we are getting the count and from here count we can easily find that this model word is very common because it is repetitive in all three documents. Then information, vector and extended, they are somewhat, uh, they are rare words because they are not repeated and binary and retrieval, they are repeating but not frequently. So when we calculate the IDFI, we are getting that corresponding result. So when the term is rare, we are getting the more value and when the term is common, we are getting the less value. After that, we require to multiply this <coughs> local major that is nothing but the intra cluster by the inter cluster. So we multiply this 0.40 or whatever that idea value to the document as well as query. So we are getting this as a resulting document. After that we find out the each document similarity with the query. So we have to write down this document and this query and we require to do the vector multiplication. Now in the numerator we are multiplying the corresponding terms and uh, their addition that is nothing but 0.54 and here we take the norm of this vector that is document vector which is nothing but the square each term make summation and take the square root. So this value is 0.88 this value is 1.19. Now this 1.19 will remain common as it is with respect to query only this value will change. So we are getting the similarity of 0.52. Similarly, we can do for document 2, document vector, query vector as it is, 
multiply the corresponding value, take the summation, which is nothing but the numerator. And in the denominator, we are taking the norm. So by this way, we are getting the calculation 0.33. Now we'll see with the third document. With third document, when we do operation, that is vector multiplication, we are getting the answer as a 0.89. So we are getting the document similarity as 0 0.52, 0 0.33, 0 0.89. So when we give the query extended binary, the document 3 is match most. Now see this compare with the original. Now our query is extended binary. Now we can find out that extended body is, uh, model is common, extended binary, they are not, uh, even binary is repeated, but extended is not repeated. So for extended, we are getting the 0.89. After that, the extended binary here binary is present so here it is giving 0.52 and for this vector retrieval model it is giving 0.33 the 0.33 is coming because we are adding that 0.5 base when we are doing the calculation for the query so when the documents get retried for the system then document 3 is first retried then document 1 and then document 2 <coughs> exercise 2 now these are the three documents are there and query is given March calendar. When we observe this document, we found that one stop what is there which is nothing but for. So it is not treated as a keywords and other words are treated as a keywords. Now we require to follow again four steps. Stemming and stop word removal, intra-cluster similarity, intra-cluster similarity and cosine similarity between the document vector and the query vector. Now these seven keywords are there document 1, document 2, document 3. Now here this is again we writing for the query also. So same as previous problem we just require to first make this matrix as term document matrix. Then here we have to observe for the document 3. Now this awareness word is repeated two times. So here when we calculate f of ij we require to divide this f of frequency of ij divided by maximum frequency of ij. So here values are already between 0 to 1 here the values are between 0 to 1 but here we are applying this operation because here as we divided by 1 it does not make any difference but here we require to divide each frequency by the two values to get the value f of ij for query also there is no change because maximum is 1 and divided by 1 is the same answer so here see the change in document 3 this value get the change Now for query we are adding this 0.5 so we are adding 0.5 so these are only query terms other terms get the 0.5 as a base value then we are this is nothing but the intra cluster similarity after that we are going for the inter cluster similarity now inter cluster is nothing but we require to count that how many times this keyword present across the document so health is present in two documents observance is present in one document March is present in one and two documents so here we are not adding the frequency but we are adding the count present or absent so in this way we are getting the answer when we observe that whenever the word is repeated then we are getting the less value and word when the word is rare we are getting the more value for the intercluster similarity intercluster similarity is calculated by log of 1 plus n total number of documents divided by this count value Next step is we require to multiply this document matrix and the query by this inter cluster similarity. These are the intra and we require to multiply the inter. So we are multiplying this 0.40 all values to this all value and we are getting the final result like this. So this is our final WIJ and WIQ. Now we require to find out the similarity between WIJ and WIQ by using the two vector multiplication. We will check first for the document 1. This is document 1 vector and this is query. We multiply the corresponding terms take summation that is nothing but the numerator and in denominator we require to take the norm of the matrix. So norm sorry norm of the vector. Norm of the vector is 0.92 and 1.23 will be common because it is with respect to query. So we are getting the 0.50 answer. Same step we have to repeat for document 2 and we are doing this multiplication 
and we are getting the answer as a 0.70. For third document, we repeat the same and we are getting the answer as 0.27. So this is 0.27, by mistake it is 0.28 but it is 0.27. Now we will check here also you make some small change ok 0.50, 0.70 and 0.27 so only one change is there 0.27. Now we can observe that our query is March calendar. So here that calendar word is uh, rare. So it gives more importance to the calendar and it is present in document 2. Then March calendar March is present but here in if we compare the document 1 and document 3. In document 3 awareness repeated. So uh, when we multiply by the intercluster similarity its importance is reduces. That's why the document 1 got the score of 0.50 and document 3 got the score of 0.27. It is by mistake written as 0.28 but it is 0.27. So in this way Victor uh, will give the rank between 0 to 1 and here when documents retired from the system the second document will retired first because it is more relevant to query then document 1 and then document 3. So this is all about uh, the vector retrieval model. So for this presentation two books are referred that is modern information retrieval by Bates, its and introduction to information retrieval by the